are just about ready for the opening face-off as we take a look at Anthony Wilson in cage. For Villanova, it'll be the fifth-year Justin Coppola, all Big East second teamer last year. And for Lehigh, it'll be the junior Sean Dow, who has got some big shoes to fill after Mike Sisselberger graduated last year. And it's a face-off win right away for Coppola. He's winning them at a 54% clip here in the early. Back to the faceoff again. Capola won the first. Justin Capola, he's just 5'5", 150, but so tough. Mike Corrado says that nobody wants to mess with him on the team. Zupacic, that shot is over the bar, off the bounce. They don't run a traditional first and second line. And we'll mix in on that second line midfield for Villanova. They don't run a traditional first and second line. And great stick check from Dow. Violation called against Villanova. As Lehigh will take it off the faceoff to make it a one goal game before the break. And Scott Cole means so much to this team on the field. But when I spoke to Will Scudder, he said he means more to this team off it than he does on it, which is hard to believe. Is and foul called against Lehigh there on the faceoff. We'll give it to Villanova. Just called Scott Cole a tremendous leader for this group. Six sets the lead. So that goal will wipe out the delayed penalty as Dow looked to have a clean win, but a great stick check from Coppola. Allows Jones to come up with the loose ball. Here is Jones. Stevie Jones goes back behind for coming off a career day. He had three goals and four assists against Colgate in a 15-9 win last Saturday. The assists and the points, both career highs for Licata is... Lehigh comes up with a face-off win there. Giovanni Procaccini takes the shot and scores. Came off the win, the wing to get the face-off win and then buries it in the top quarter. That's his second goal of the year. The junior out of Chestertown, Maryland. Scoring right off the faceoff for Lehigh. We go back to the faceoff dot. It's been four of six for Justin Coppola. Wings coming in to try and disrupt this one. And it'll be Lehigh. To take the face off, Timmy Curlin with some great stick work, but then throws it away. It'll be Villanova ball. Over lead with 10 seconds to play here in the first quarter. Matt Brock in to take the face off for Lehigh, and he wins it for the Mountain Hawks. His pass deflected by Zupacic. And that will do it. The leads after one. The Wildcats scoring on an absolute laser from Nick Lucchese about 10 seconds before the end of the first quarter. They've got four different goal scorers. Mason Reale the only one with multiple for Villanova. Dow winning the faceoff for Lehigh to start things off here in the second Immediately harassed by Zupacic. Steven Zupacic, the grad transfer from Ohio State, somebody that out. And it's been a great start for the Wildcats. Back to the faceoff experts. It's actually been Lehigh who's taken the lead. Quietly, the Mountain Hawks, after a slow start, have been very good as Brock commits a violation there. 
Both teams now 5 for 10 after Villanova gets the win on that faceoff. Mishner behind the cage. Three Villanova defenders around him. But he's got two today, up to 17 on the season. Another guy on the towards on watch list in this game. And Lehigh will win the faceoff here with Dow. Leaves it off for Cole. Mountain Hawks will slow things down on the offensive end. With his first of the season to make it a two-goal game. It'll be Matt Brock out there to take the faceoff for Lehigh. Still Justin Coppola for Villanova. And Coppola wins that one for the Wildcats. Jones throws it back for Lucas. And a face-off violation committed by Sean Dow will give Villanova the ball off the face-off. Jones restarts for the Wildcats. Mishner back to Jones, replacing Mike Sisselberger, who graduated and went straight away to the PLL and won a championship with the Archers. He was one of the best face-off men in the history of Division I men's lacrosse. So not easy to fill those shoes as Villanova comes away with a face-off win but then turns it over. And that is part and parcel of Villanova's aggressive Trent Martin, his fourth of the year. It's Matt Brock at the face-off for Lehigh. Capola out there again for Villanova. And Brock had the face-off one, but Capola wouldn't give up. Eventually, Lehigh does come down with it. Here's Quid Armstrong. High. Needs to put a jolt into this game and get back on the score sheet if they want to stay in it and keep the Wildcats from running away with it. Brock and Coppola locked in a battle there at the faceoff X. And it's the senior for Lehigh, Matt Brock, who comes away with a faceoff win. Scott Cole throws it back for Quinn. Matt Licata, Colin Mishner will pick up the assist. Licata now up to 10 on the season. And Villanova up to 10 in the game. Face-off win for Brock and Lehigh. Tried to throw it back. And instead, it's going to end up with the Wildcats. And Lehigh will force a turnover as Raul Ocho Terena knocked Jake. Fifth of the season for Dakota Ironman. When I asked Will Scudder about potential breakout candidates this season, he mentioned Dakota Ironman is one of them, alongside the two sophomores, Andrew Kelly and Grant Rodney. Said Ironman and Rodney have some big shoes to fill with John Sidorsky and Matt Marker leaving, but just over a minute to go in the third quarter. Lehigh has cut the Villanova lead to four. Brock and Coppola going at it at the faceoff dot. And a violation committed, a push against Lehigh, or against Villanova, rather, will give Lehigh the ball. And 
it's going to be. They were down by two at the half against Dartmouth on Monday. Won that one by five. A little bit of a harder task here today against this Villanova team that while they're one and two, all three of their games have been against ranked opponents. Lost to number 15 Penn State to start the year and lost to number nine Yale. Got a win against number 20 Colgate and that's why despite the one and two record Villanova receiving votes in both the coaches poll and the media poll. Kopecky just muscling his way through the Lehigh D. Gets it over to Mishner. That was five. Tenth of the season for Mishner, tied for the team lead now with Matt Licata. And Sean Dow will win the faceoff. That was Ryan Cunningham, the freshman in there for Villanova on the faceoff. Giving Justin Coppola a breather. Fifth of the season for the sophomore at Lutherville, Maryland. Justin Coppola back in at the faceoff for Villanova. Dow pokes the ball loose, but Capola is the first to it, although an offsides call as Capola crossed the line there. The five goal Villanova lead with under eight minutes to play. Capola can't scoop up the ball and we're going to get a penalty as Capola took a huge hit there and he's a little slow to get up that is not what you want to see if you're Villanova well if you're anyone really Justin Capola special talent at the face off X You hope it's just that he got the wind knocked out of him. He was chasing down that loose ball off the faceoff and took a huge hit. Good to see him back up to his feet. And we'll see. What and that'll put Villanova back up by six to match their largest lead of the game. That'll be tough for Lehigh to come back from this deficit. Even tougher with Villanova winning that faceoff. Ryan Cunningham, the freshman, taking it in, although he then turns it back over, so Lehigh will get possession in the end. Ironman leaves it off for Decker. And a violation committed there by Sean Dow. And that's really going to hurt Lehigh's 